Okay, so there are one or two more things to add about uh, lines that are worth saying. The example we just put together in class, I've uh, uh, redone here, and it's called uh, line set comparison. And what it is is uh, side by side comparison of line set and index line set looking at the same scene. So let's bring this up. And it's in there somewhere. Okay. And we can see uh, that we have index line set on the left and line set on the right. And what this is showing is a um, the same exact uh, cube model, but on the left we have uh, color per uh, line segment in the index line set. In other words, we've set color per vertex false. And then on the right we have color per vertex true, which actually doesn't get set explicitly in line set because everything is just vertex by vertex by vertex for coordinates and colors. So let's... Uh, Take a look at the slide that shows this. Okay, here we go. Uh, so there they are side by side. As we discussed, we've got a uh, coordinate index where we're putting together point by point for index line set. And then for line set, we've got vertex count that uh, deals with that. And so if we do the uh, close inspection of the numbers of what actually makes it work, we can see that the, uh, the numbers on the uh, vertex count match the count of each polygon. And actually, when you look at the coordinates that are in there, each one like that, it actually matches the order that was defined right, right above. So there's absolutely a pattern here where either you list all the points once and point to them with indexes to connect them or you take each point one at a time and put it in including duplications and get the whole line of points, correspondingly the whole line of colors and there you go. So which is best? It depends. Smallest to define is usually the indexed version, particularly when there's reuse of points. Fastest for the machine to operate on is line set, since it's just marching straight through the pairs of arrays and making it all work. Do you want to code it one way or the other, trying to make it faster on the machine? No. The browser will put that together and render it as quickly as possible, and you won't have to worry about it. So let the problem drive uh, your decision on how to model this. It may be that uh, it's just a simple software program anyway, a tool that's making it work. One final note on uh, lines is don't want to uh, leave you with the impression there's nothing else you can do with lines. We do have uh, a line properties node that lets you uh, change the uh, values of this guy to make, make different effects work out. And uh, one of the important properties, which we saw before in Chapter 5, is line width scale factor, where we could make some lines thicker than others. This is not the same as perspective drawing where the width changes based on distance from the camera, however. So it remains a specialty technique uh, for, for uh, drawing lines and for drawing points. As a look ahead, there has been some talk uh, about maybe, maybe someday we'd add a point properties node with a point size field. I think that's a good idea. 
but it hasn't happened yet. It does take uh, some work to get to consensus sometimes. We want to make sure if we fix this problem or if we add this feature, we do it properly. We consider all possibilities, works on all devices, et cetera, et cetera. So it's sometimes a little harder than it might initially appear. Okay, so there's uh, the rest of the story on index line set and line set.